Today, Microsoft introduced the new Surface Pro. Instead of calling it the Surface Pro 5, they're dropping the number from the end of the name entirely. My overall impression is that they changed more than I thought they would. I was really thinking that this would be a Surface Pro 4 with some minor updates. But from an illustration perspective, this is a really good step up. The new Surface Pro comes out on June 15th. I'll probably be reviewing one a week or two after it comes out. But these are the things that I'm gonna be looking for when I get my hands on one to see how it performs. First is the longer battery life, up to 13 hours and there is no fan in the i5. Second, they've upgraded the pen. There's pressure and tilt support. Second, they've upgraded the pen. There's a lot more pressure and tilt support. The pen no longer comes with the Surface. It is now $100 and it is the same price as the Apple Pencil. The pen's also backwards compatible. The Surface Dial also works on it, but it also works on some of the older Surface models as well. So let's break these down. I think the headline of the day on most sites is going to be the 13 hour battery life. 13 hours is a lot and they rejiggered the inside of the surface to make this happen. To do this, you're not just grabbing off the shelf parts and slamming them into a case and shipping it. You're gently caressing off the shelf parts into a case and shipping it. 13 hours of battery life is a big deal. When I reviewed the Wacom Mobile Studio Pro at the end of last year, that was one thing that stood out. It wasn't nearly as mobile because it only had two and a half to three hours of battery life. Now, I don't know if we're really gonna get 13 hours of battery life out of this thing. I, it seems like a stretch to me. However, if you can get eight to 10 hours, that means you can take it with you for the entire day and not worry about it dying, you know, mid-afternoon. They also did away with the fans on the lower-end models, the i5 models. Now, I, this is really curious to me. On one hand, I really like the idea of having absolutely no fan noise, having a silent computer. That's kind of cool. Not that the old surfaces were really loud when their fans kicked in. The one thing that I am worried about is that, as an illustrator, your hand is resting on the tablet. Is the trade-off going to be that you're going to have a much warmer screen, or you're going to have hot spots on the screen? You know, so that's something I'm going to be looking for, too, in my review. Let's talk about the pen. We're going from 2,000 levels of pressure sensitivity all the way up to 4,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. We're also adding in the option for tilt support. I know that has been a deal breaker for many illustrators looking at the surface. The lack of tilt on the pen has been kind of a bummer. Also, the pen itself is backwards compatible, kind of. Uh, you're able to uh, use it on an older surface, but you're not gonna get the added levels of pressure and you're not gonna get the tilt support, but the pen will work. And the thing with the pen that I'm gonna be looking for is just how responsive is it with that pressure. Um, also, there is some jitter that comes with these sur uh, older Surface models, you know, whether it's the Surface Studio or the Surface Pro, the Surface Book. Uh, with this new pen, I wanna see how much of that jitter they've gotten rid of, especially on like the slow diagonal lines. That's the big thing that I'm gonna be looking for. So let's talk about price. The pen itself is now packaged extra. It does not come with the Surface Pro and it costs an extra hundred dollars on top of the 799 starting point price tag. Now looking at this, this is the same price as the 12.9 inch iPad Pro uh, if you get a pencil with it as well. Here is the thing and I think it's kind of a big thing that's worth pointing out. You will want a keyboard cover with your Surface Pro. I've said this before, I find using Windows without a keyboard to be a little bit frustrating, maybe a lot frustrating at times. The Windows OS itself has done a good job over the years of, of refining itself. And, and you can use Windows really well without a keyboard. However, the apps that run on Windows, not so much. And really it's a trade-off. You're getting a lot more powerful apps on Windows than you're gonna get on an iPad, but at the same time, all that extra power and all those extra features means you need a way to move around those features and a keyboard and a mouse really is still the best way to do that. On the iPad Pro, it's an accessory. On the Surface Pro, it's a necessity. That's just one dope track off my new album that drops next week. So why did they not include the pen with the Surface Pro? I, I have a couple theories. Theory one is that Microsoft is pushing to make the Surface line their premium line, and they just flat out don't care about competing on price anymore. And the Surface stuff is premium. Maybe not from like a horsepower standpoint, but from a design standpoint, uh, these products are definitely really nice. I mean, if you look at the 13 hour battery battery life that they're talking about with this device you know you have to make a lot of design choices while you're putting this tablet together that that really affect those that battery power so and or even just the surface studio the giant screen all of those design things that they're doing make these premium products. And really what they're trying to do is give the other Windows vendors out there ideas to basically steal and borrow and, and place in their own products. 
Theory two is they probably found out that most of the people who buy a Surface don't use the pen once the novelty wears off. And so it lets them put more tech in the pen, spend more money on the pen, basically produce a more premium pen if they don't pack it in. I know from my standpoint, if I'm not drawing, I almost never use the pen. I usually, if I'm just using the Surface to write, surf the web, do anything except drawing really, I just use my finger. But if this means a better pen, we can get rid of some of the jitter on it and get the tilt support put in, eh, maybe it's a good trade-off. Lastly, let's talk about the dial. The Surface dial that was designed for the Surface Studio also works on the new Surface Pro. This isn't really news because the dial also worked on the older Surfaces as well. Now the dial itself isn't huge, but neither is the Surface Pro screen. So it takes up a lot of like space, a lot of screen real estate. On a huge Surface Studio that it was designed for, this is no big deal on the Surface Pro. Uh, it does take up a lot of space. You can still use it like off to the side, not actually on the screen. You lose some of the cool UI stuff, but you could do it for things like undoing or, or little features like that. All right, let's clean this up. I got a couple other points of interest that I'm not really gonna talk about, but I thought would be worth throwing in here. First, there are no USB-C ports. Meh. Microsoft is making a USB-C dongle. Double. Meh. They also released a new commercial where fans of the Surface talk about what they like most about it and... Oh god, that's me. There's also an LTE version that is coming this fall. That's kind of cool. You can pre-order it today. Probably by the time I finish this video and post it, you'll be able to pre-order it. You can get different colored pens to match your type cover. That's kind of a nice touch. And lastly, I don't know if the uh, old type covers are going to work on the new Surface Pro. Probably going to give that an old test run when I get my hands on one. So that's it. Those are the major things that I thought were most interesting to me about the press conference today. Also, what I'm going to be looking for when I get my hands on one of these in a couple weeks. If you have any comments or questions or want to add your two cents of things that I should look for in my review, let me know down below in the comments. As always, you can hit me up on Twitter. That's all I've got for uh, today, and I will see you guys in a couple days.